Hello learners, my name is Dr. Priya Mahajan and I am from Department of Commerce. Today we are discussing about the inflation. In today's session, we are covering meaning of inflation, causes of inflation, measures to check inflation means how government and RBI control inflation in the economy and in last we will discuss about the types of different types of inflation. So first of all, we will start with the meaning of inflation. So what is inflation? By inflation, we mean a general rise in prices of goods and services. Goods and services include food items, clothes, footwears, houses, transportation, fuel, edible oil, pulses, medical care, etc. So these all items are come under the goods and services. So inflation is a persistent rise or continuous rise in the general price level of goods and services over a period of time rather than a once for all rise in it. When goods, when the prices of goods and services, they are, they are continuously increased or the, there is a persistently increase in the rise of uh, goods and services that is termed as inflation. The opposite to inflation is deflation. Deflation represent persistently or continuously falling prices of goods and services over a period of time. Next term is disinflation. Students generally confused between deflation and disinflation. So what is disinflation? Disinflation is the decrease in the rate of inflation. It means a slowdown in the rate of increase of the general price level of goods and services over time. For example, if the annual inflation rate for the month of January is 5% and in February it comes to 4%, then the price disinflated by 1% but are still increasing at a 4% annual rate. So, Whereas the inflation and deflation, they show the direction of change in prices. Whereas disinflation shows the rate of change in the inflation. Next is the definition of inflation. So different economists and academicians, they give different definitions of inflation. As per the Samuelson Paul, this uh, inflation is a rise in the general level of prices. As per McCormick, and BJ et al, a sustained rise in general level of prices. As per the Penguin Dictionary of Economics, inflation is a persistent increase in the general level of prices. Then as per the Harper Collins, an increase in the general level of prices in an economy that is sustained over time. Sustained over time is, sustained means which continue uh, for a extended period of time. And as per the Matthew Bishop, Inflation is a rising prices across the broad. So these are the definitions given by the different economists and academicians. Next, here is the uh, LPG cylinder rate, the table of LPG cylinder rate. So you can see that uh, in October 2020, the rate of uh, LPG cylinder was 614.5 rupees. In December, after two months, prices are increased to 714.5 rupees. In February 2021, the rate of gas cylinder increased to 789.5, in April 829, in July 855 and now in August 2021, the rate of gas cylinder is 880. So you can see that there is a 43.20% rise in the prices of gas cylinder. So there is, so the rate of gas cylinder, they are persistently or continuously rising from the last year. So that is what caused the inflation. Next are the causes of inflation. The two type of inflation that leads to increase in prices of goods and in, uh, goods and services. Uh, in economics, we refer them as demandful inflation and cost push inflation. So first of all, what is demand pull inflation? A mismatch between demand and supply pulls up the prices. When the demand increases due to the increase in the money supply in the economy or you can say when the money circulation increase in the economy over the same supply of goods and services, then there is a increase in the prices of goods. Uh, that is the demand pull inflation. So increase in demands and supply when supply remains same, there is increase in prices. So in economics, you uh, have read that there is a positive relationship between demand and prices. When demand increase, prices increase. When demand decreases, prices decrease. So this situation is commonly described as the too much money chases too few goods make the producer to raise prices. Another cause is cost push inflation. 
cost push inflation happens when prices goes up because of higher cost of production cost push inflation usually happen when wages or the cost of raw material which we uh, termed as factor input cost that goes up prices increase because it cost com because it cost company more to produce goods when the cost of production goes up supply goes down at the current prices because producer cannot make as much for the same amount of money prices increase to ensure producer can afford to keep up with the demand so for example the cost of water bottle was rupees 10 and there is a certain increase in the prices of wages of the laborers and the uh, cost of plastic uh, these are the factor input cost when these cost increases there will ultimately increase in the cost of uh, uh, water bottle now the manufacturer he has two options either he can uh, decrease the supply of water bottle or manufacturer Uh, can manufacture the same number of water bottles to keep with the demand but in both the cases he has to ultimately increase the prices of water bottles next is the impact of increase in prices so when prices increase when there is inflation in the economy what impact it has so it means that people won't be when the uh, there is inflation in the economy when the prices increase it means that people won't be able to purchase as much with that currency as they can have last month or last year it means their purchasing power is decreasing or the value of currency is decreasing for example in october 2020 the price of the uh, cylinder was uh, rupees 600 and in august 2021 it increased to rupees 880 it means the value of money is decreasing now earlier you was able to purchase a gas of cylinder at rupees 600 now with rupees 600 you won't be able to purchase that gas cylinder the value of your money is decreased now your purchasing power is decreased now so that is the impact of inflation on the economy the purchasing power decreases the value of money decreases when we talk about inflation rbi and government they play a very important role to control the inflation as a supply side measure the government may go for import of goods which are in short supply so this is a short term measure or short term arrangement by the government to increase the supply of goods and services for a temporary period in a long run government go to increase the production to match the level of demand so in long run generally government um, set up new production units and set up new plants and new uh, factories to increase the production of goods we can take the example of covid 19 when the uh, when this pandemic hit in our economy at that time the government was importing uh, the face masks sanitizers and uh, pp kits and other uh, testing kits from uh, from other countries but later on the government set up its own, set up its own production units and also give license to the private sector to increase the production of these essential goods and that's how government um, bring an equilibrium between demand and supply and how and then the prices of these goods they uh, came down so that's how government uh, check inflation or control inflation by increasing the supply of goods in the economy next measure is the Uh, from the cost side so as a cost side me- measure the government may try to reduce the prices by cutting down the cost of production of goods by cutting the custom and excise duty and other taxes on the goods so that their cost of production can be reduced and the uh, and ultimately prices will come down but this is also a short term measure or you can say short term arrangement by the government in long term government can um uh, with better production processes and new technological innovation a government can reduce the cost of production of goods and services and that's how they control the uh, inflation and decrease the prices in the economy another major is uh, another major the government can take is to tighten the monetary policy either by decreasing the money supply from the economy as rbi increase the cash reserve ratio of the banks in india so when rbi they increase the cash reserve ratio of bank it means that now banks have to keep more money with the rbi and they have uh, and they have less money with them for the further loan purposes when there is less loan with the bank for the further loan purposes it means the people will have less money if people have less money then the demand of goods will decrease and it ultimately decrease the prices of goods so uh by uh, increasing these cash reserve ratio and uh, statutory liquidity ratios government control 
the uh, inflation in the economy and by making money costlier also this uh, uh, inflation can be controlled by rbi so uh, by making money costlier uh, uh, what will rbi do they will uh, increase the bank rate or repo rate it will ultimately increase the interest rate on the loan people now will uh, take less loan and there will, will there will be less circulation of money in the economy and uh, that's why that's how demand will decrease and prices will come down so but these are the short term arrangement done by the uh, rbi in long run the best way is to increase the production with the help of the best production practices so in a long run government generally increase the production so this is the best measures that the government can do to to bring an equilibrium between demand and supply the government might utilize any of the three or all of the three measures which we have discussed uh, now to check and manage the inflation in their day to day price management policy next is the types of inflation so on the basis of range of increase and its severity uh, inflation can be classified into four broad categories these are creeping inflation walking inflation galloping inflation and hyperinflation so first of all what is creeping inflation creeping inflation low or mild inflation is when prices rise 3% a year or less when the price increase at 3% per annum or less it benefits economic growth this kind of mild inflation makes consumer expect that prices will keep going up in the future that boost demand in the economy consumer buy now to beat higher future prices and that's how mild inflation drives economic expansion so we can say that the creeping inflation is to some extent is good for the e economy next is the walking inflation when the prices rise by more than 3% but less than 10% per annum it is called as walking or trotting inflation according to some economists walking inflation must be taken seriously as it gives a warning signals for the occurrence of running inflation furthermore the if inflation is not checked in due time it can eventually result in galloping inflation so next is the galloping inflation this is a very high inflation running in the range of double digit or triple digit like 20% 100% or 1000% increase in the uh, year so galloping inflation is when the prices they increase between 20% to 1000% per annum in the decade of 1970s and 1980s many latin american countries such as argentina chile brazil had such rate of inflation in the range of 50 to 700% india also witnessed such inflation during the second five year plan so some other names given to the inflations are hopping inflation jumping inflation and running and runaway inflation next is the hyperinflation hyperinflation refers to a situation where the prices rise at an alarm high rate the prices rise so fast that it becomes very difficult to measure it to measure its magnitude however in quantitative terms when prices rise above 1000% per annum it is termed as hyperinflation during such scenario the value of national currency of an affected country reduce almost to zero paper currency become worthless and people start trading either in gold and silver or sometimes even use the old barter system most example of hyperinflation occurs when government print money to pay for wars for example the best example of hyperinflation is of germany after the first world war in early 1920s at the end of 1923 prices were 36 billion times higher than 2 years earlier this inflation was so severe that paper german currency were more valuable as stock fuel than as actual money it means that the value of that paper on which the money is printed that is more valuable than the actual value of money in printed printed on it so that was the uh, condition of germany in uh, in 19 uh, during the uh, first world war due to the hyperinflation other variants of inflation are first one is the bottleneck inflation so bottleneck inflation is this inflation takes place when the supply falls drastically and the demand remain at the same level when due to some accident or due to some hazards 
the supply uh, reduce but demand remains same then such kind of inflation is also known as the structural inflation this inflation can be put in the uh, category of demand pull inflation also another is the core inflation this is based on the inclusion or exclusion of the goods and services while calculating inflation in western economies core inflation shows prices rise in all goods and services excluding energy and food article so in western country these two uh, sectors that food and energy they were excluding while calculating the inflation in india it was first time used in the financial year 2001 and the government expressed that inflation is under control means in 2000 2001 when uh, the inflation was calculated then these two sectors that is energy and food uh, sector they were excluding while calculating the inflation but this was highly criticized by experts on account that in the western economies food and energy are not the problem for the masses because their government is taking care of these two sectors while in india these two segments are of the most important for the common people so learners this is all about the inflation inflation to some extent is good for the economy because it boosts demand which is good for the economic development but when it crosses the limit or increases at the higher rate of higher rate then the government and the central bank of the country take corrective measures to control the situation in the economy either by increasing the supply or by reducing the cost of production according to the situation occurred in the country so that's all about the today's session i hope this gave you some basic ideas of inflation and also the what role the government and rbi is playing uh, pay to control the inflation of the country so thank you